Hey everyone, Miss MC here. This is Lepgod for Suzuka Circuit with the Nissan GTR GT3. Let's get this started. Quick note, as you go through the final chicane, there is a tealish green area on the final part of the chicane that is still considered part of track limits, so you can take advantage of that. And when you're starting a new lap, bring yourself all the way to the left side of the track so you can get a bit more distance to build up a bit more speed to start a fast lap. Stay on the left side of the track and use the path on the left as your braking point and you want to control your braking so that you're still able to turn as you're slowing down. And you want to be careful here because you do not want to touch the green turf on the left otherwise your car will spin out. And once you hit the apex be nice and careful getting on the throttle, especially in a car like the Nissan GT-R. Then it's all about throttle control, ease off of the throttle to help the car turn in a bit more. For this right turn, you want to use a little bit of braking, just fine tune your car to stay towards the right side of the track, especially as this turn ends, and then do some more throttle control to help the car make its way through this turn. Stay on the left side of the track and brake before you reach the 50 meter board. I use the digital flag on the left. Brake hard for a very short moment, quickly ease off of the brakes, and then brake before the curb on the left ends. Brake hard for a short moment, nice and easy off of the brakes. Carefully apply a throttle, do not get too much onto the green stuff. Now bring yourself to the right and you're going to break just as a curb on the right ends and I'm going to show exactly where I start to break because this part right here, my car is blocking the break reference marker. So you break hard for a short while and once you're ready to start to turn in, ease off of the brakes and that's going to help the car turn in and then be nice and careful starting to apply a throttle because this car can generate a lot of wheel spin if you apply even just a little bit too much throttle, so you want to be very careful about that. Bring yourself towards the right side of the track and brake before you reach the path that is on the right. Brake hard for a short moment, nice and easy off of the brakes and then do a little bit of throttle control. Then brake before the curb on the right ends. A bit more braking control, just bring yourself towards the left side of the track and wait until the curb on the left ends before you can get on the throttle. Again, be nice and careful getting on the throttle because this car likes to generate a lot of wheel spin. Now bring yourself towards the right side of the track, look for the 50 meter board as that is your turning point. And all you need to do here is just lift off of the throttle, lift off of the throttle just enough to land on the red and white curbs. Then bring yourself to the left and brake in between the 150 and the 100 meter board. Brake hard for a short while. Ease off the brakes as you turn in, taking advantage of the red and white curbs. And once again, take advantage of the teal green area as that is still considered part of track limits. If you have a very good lap time, carefully bring yourself towards the right side of the track. But if you want to go again and get another lap in, Bring us up towards the left side of the track and start your new lap. Alright, so before we get started with the race strategies, I do want to note that if you're starting in 20th place, quit the race because you're not going to spawn behind 19th place. You're going to spawn on Degner 2 for some weird reason. And you're pretty much going to be one minute behind everyone, so you're pretty much better off quitting the race than spending all 20 minutes being one minute behind everyone. But anyways, going on over to the race strategies, we are doing 10 laps at Suzuka Circuit with the group three cars, and both the racing medium and hard tires are available for this race, and both tires are required for this race, so you do have to make one pit stop, and you need to use both tire compounds so you don't get the one minute penalty that gets applied at the end of the race. Feel is a times two, so don't worry about feel but the tire wear is at times seven, so depending on your driving style and the car that you're using, you're going to eventually have to deal with the tire wear because it does get a little problematic. So pretty much 
you're going to be on the racing medium tires for at least five laps. You can go a couple more laps if your car and your driving style promote good tire life. So if you're able to drive smoothly, then you should be able to make the racing medium tires last six or even seven laps. So let's say that you're able to do five laps on the racing medium tires before you pit on for new tires. Then you can easily go five laps on the racing medium tires and five laps on the racing hard tires. But let's say you're starting somewhere in the middle of the pack or towards the back of the pack. Then you can start on the racing hard tires. Just get those out of the way. Do five laps on those tires and then switch on over to the racing medium tires to do five laps with them. And once again, if you're able to make your tires last a bit longer, you can definitely adjust your strategy to complement that. And let's also take a look and see where the pit stop is. So it is just after the final chicane. And I'm going to go ahead and bring myself all the way to the right side of the track. You do have to slow down a bit so you don't end up spinning out or end up hitting the barrier. Also, I do apologize for not having any audio. Not sure what happened with the audio. It got cut off for some reason. And your pit loss is going to be around 19 seconds. So you don't want to do a two stop. You just want to stick with a one stop. So here we go. We're changing tires and off we go. And once again, we lose about 19 seconds. And I think Loops is coming. Yep, he's coming right behind us, but luckily, I was able to pit out just ahead of him. And I do give props to Loops because he was in the Huracan, and that car is a bit of a monster to drive. But anyways, uh, speaking of cars, there's going to be quite a couple of cars that you'll probably be seeing in this race. Uh, the Nissan GTR is definitely going to be one of them. And this car, it's a bit boxy to drive. Uh, you do need to be off of throttle a lot to get this thing to turn. And it is a bit sketchy when it comes to the hairpin. So you do want to be really careful about that. Be nice and easy on the throttle on your way out of the hairpin. But it does make up for it with, with its crazy good speed. And it actually has really good tire life. So you can probably see people go 7 or even 8 laps on the racing medium tires. But chances are you're probably going to see a variety of vehicles being used. So for example, you have Loops using the... Huracan, you have Lester and Diamond using the Porsche 911 RSR. And speaking of the Porsche, it's not the fastest car here for Suzuka, but it's probably one of the easiest cars to use. Uh, it's very stable, it does love to turn a lot. So if you're looking for a car that's pretty easy to use and doesn't try to kill you everywhere, then you might want to take a look at the Porsche 911 RSR. And you might even see some power cars like the Aston Martin V12 Vantage. Uh, you'll definitely see the Nissan GTR and the Lamborghini Huracan. But these cars, they're a bit hard to use. So you do have to be very careful about how you're driving them. Uh, same goes for the Audi R8 LMS and the Renault RS01. I think they're some of the better cars, at least for time trial. But in the race, well, same for time trial. You just want to be very careful about how you drive them because... Uh, they're very easy to lose control with. But let's go ahead and quickly summarize things up before I show places to overtake and the penalty serving zone. This is a one-stop race. Do at least five laps on the racing medium tires and then the rest of the race on the racing hard tires. If you're starting towards the back, use the racing hard tires first. And there's going to be a variety of cars being used for this race, but some of the more notable, uh, better cars are going to be the Nissan GTR, Lamborghini Huracan, uh, Audi R8 LMS, and the Renault RS01. But these cars are also pretty hard to use. But anyways, places to overtake and the penalty serving zone. You have the main straight, pretty easy place to get overtake, especially with the use of slipstream. And after that, this is going to be a single file line. It's going to be pretty difficult to get an overtake done unless is so it messes up big time over here. So let's go ahead and fast forward through this. And after Degner 2, so after this right turn, so after this turn, this place right here, it's pretty situational for getting an overtake done leading up to the hairpin. So if the car ahead of you got a really bad exit and you're quickly gaining on them, 
to the point where you're pretty much going to be side to side entering the hairpin, then you can definitely get an overtake done. Then this part right here, this is where it's going to be even better for trying to get an overtake done, especially with the use of slipstream. And then after these two turns, there's going to be another good place to get an overtake done, especially with the use of slipstream once again. But do try to get the overtake done before you reach 130R, which is the high speed left turn that is coming up. Because if you go too wide with someone, then you risk having an incident happen. If you can, just hang back and then wait until this part right here because this is another place where you can get an overtake done. And after that, we're pretty much done with the lap. And I don't know if you saw where the penalty serving zone was, so I'm going to quickly go over to where it's hanging out at. And it's after Spoon, so after the two left-handers that lead into the second back straight, the penalty serving zone is right here. So you want to make sure that you don't get a penalty because you will lose quite a bit of time. But anyways, that is pretty much it for this guide. I'm going to sign off now because I think I'm starting to get sick, so I'm going to go to sleep right now. But anyways, that's all for me. This is Mr. MCA wishing you a good race, and I'll see you in the next video.